Hey there, it's uh, Under Oath 77 and I'm going to be showing you a bit about um, how I master songs. Uh, I want to preface this video by saying that um, it's all original material and um, none of it is going to be commercialized. I'm just doing it for the purposes of this video. So let's get started. I'm going to start off by uh, pulling up my master strip. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, mono out the low frequencies. This, uh, this song is mixed pretty low in Dreams. It's like, it doesn't hit more than negative 12 dB in Ableton. So we're going to have to boost it quite a bit. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna um, high pass and low pass. That way we can just boost it a lot more in the mid range. So let's do that. We'll dial it in. Usually I like to, to do it somewhere about like right here. We don't want too much harshness in the high end. Alright. We'll move on to our uh, glue compressor. Got about 2 dB or so of gain reduction. Oh, maybe about 3. That's fine though. We got our makeup gain on it. Alright, let's move on to the stereo image. Got my band set up here. Um, you can see I'm monoing the low end even more. And. For the mids, I'm kind of like giving it a little bit more stereo width. <clears throat> Obviously we can pull these up or down and just see what it does. We should probably turn on stereo eyes. We can check our image over here while it's playing. So we've got pretty far spread right here. Alright, I'm liking that. The next thing is, um, we'll pull up tonal balance and see what it's doing. Looks like my mids are pretty good right here already. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull the bass down. Looks like I'm going to need some highs too. Alright, so we'll do that with a uh, multiband compressor. I like to use fab filters. I'm just going to follow along while we listen. Face down. Not too much though, like you just want maybe like two dBs of gain reduction. There we go. It's looking better. Mids are fine. High mids. Need a little bit of work. Pull those down too. I don't want to go too drastic here because we need that range for um, translation and like car stereos. Let's, <clears throat> let's 
Let's move on to the high range. I haven't seen it hit our target at all over here. So let's just raise that up. Obviously that's quite a drastic boost, but um, hey, it's working. I'll just pull it down a little bit. Oop. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. It obviously looks crazy, but hey. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the Pro Q3 unless I really need it. Um, I'm gonna move on to Golfos. See if we can bring out the um, masked frequencies. Let's see what Golfos does. See, instantly it just sounds like it took a blanket off the sound. Thinking maybe we can darken it just a bit so we can turn it up more in the car. I want some more mids in there. We'll let Golfos do what it's doing. Alright, that sounded good. Let's move on. We got tonal balance doing what it needs to do. Now I'm gonna go for uh, the inflator. That gives us those really low bass frequencies that you usually can't hear with this curve right here. Obviously, I don't need that much. I'm already liking what that's doing, so I'm just going to leave it. And let's turn on our limiter. It's getting pretty loud now, so let's check our u -lean. Honestly, I thought we'd be hitting a higher luffs than that. The number we're looking for, or I mean, the, uh, the section is the integrated luffs. We want it to be between negative 10 and negative 18. That way SoundCloud doesn't compress it and turn it down or turn it up. I'm just kind of like, let it play into it and see what the integrated luffs is uh, after the fact. Take note of our true peak. Okay. I'm liking this. Integrated Luffs keeps going down, but I don't think it's going to go down past negative 10. Looks like it's slowing down around uh, negative 7, 16. <clears throat> oh, you hear that high string detail? Yeah, that's nice. The original song in Dreams really um, it didn't have all that detail, so it's good that we got it back. I'm liking this. 
It's hovering between negative 15, negative 17. That's fine. I think we're going to roll with this. And, um, just real quick, I'm going to check it in VSX. Sounding pretty good to my ears. Let's check it in the car. Definitely has more bass than I thought it would, but um, yeah, it sounds fine. Alright, we're gonna roll with that. And that's about it. That's my master strip. And I showed you how I do things. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, maybe I'll make some more videos in the future doing uh, masters and, you know, whatever. Take it easy.